Hi everyone, this is Dr. Edwards and I hope you're having a great week. This is going to be an awesome week because we are talking about crisis communication as well as what makes the organization that you're working with super unique. So let's talking talk about the first one. What makes the business a unicorn? So unicorns are, are very rare, right? So um, what makes the business um, stand out? What makes the business super unique? So for this section, I will use basically the fact um, that I like um, a particular gas station and what makes the gas station unique. So a unicorn worthy point for QT, um, which is my favorite gas station, is our destination, gas des our travel destination, is the fact that it has an app. I like the fact that the gas station has an app. You can check prices. And then also it has really neat coupons. So that's how the business demonstrates that point. Do similar businesses have this point as well? Usually not. And I've been to my share of gas stations. And then also I would find a library database article to back up that unicorn point. So we finished out point one, but I want you guys to give me a wealth of explanation about this point and then also um, why you chose this point. Okay, so let's look at unicorn worthy point two. Um, you would come up with another reason why that business or that um, organization is unique. And um, another piece for QT is that it has chai tea latte and a lot of gas stations with the exception of Wawa in the northwest, northeast. Um, that's a gas station as well, but that um, they have a chai tea latte as well, but it has unique hot drink options. And then also I would find a library database article perhaps to highlight that people on the road, what are their most popular drink choices, then I would highlight that too. Then you have unicorn point, unicorn point worthy, worthy point three, four, and five. And then you have the assignment. So think about the worst things that could happen with um, a gas station. Worst case scenario that the exits are blocked off. You would describe that worst case scenario. And then also you would highlight three ways that communication, like you would communicate with the public that the business partner can prepare for this scenario. And then you would have to find a library database article to back up or to reinforce your point. So if I talk about the excess being blocked off, I can talk about the fact that maybe you update that on the app for people who have the app to let them know through beacon technology, you know, the closer you are to something, some things will pop up on your screen of your telephone. Then with um, when they pass by like the exit before, then maybe they can highlight, oh, here's an alternative way to get to QT. So that's a really neat um, way that you can use that communication with the public. And then I would find a library article about um, basically beacon technology or the fact um, when people travel, how they um, find different places, um, especially if the exit is blocked. Then um, worst case scenario two, maybe we have snowpocalypse and um, the worst case scenario in that sense um, already happened, but how the business can prepare the next time. And it's important because especially with snowpocalypse or icepocalypse, whatever we had a few weeks ago, um, you know, even if the lights are off, um, you know, preparing with the generator and communicating that to the community as well as to travelers as well, and then providing a library database article um, to reinforce that as well. So that I want you to truly think outside of the box and to think about ways that you can help the business prepare for the in inevitable. And I really like crisis communications. Actually, one of my um, <laughs> it's actually one of my best forms of communication. And if you have any questions about the assignment this week, and then also if you have a question about how to find a library database article, please let me know and I'll be happy to help you guys. Have a great week and um, yeah, make a difference. It's going to be a great week.